When I got this back from Island powder coating yesterday, this one turned out super gorgeous with the red. It's not something you ever see around here, a red dump trailer or dump box or anything like that, but uh, it sure is nice to see other than black, even though black may be more locally realistic. But, um, it's a gloss color too, so that's obviously different than what most of the ones I have done are satin finish or whatever, so this one's super shiny, which is cool. I think outside it's really going to pop. It looks a little, a little darker through the camera than it actually does in real life here, but to my eyes anyways. But Anyhow, it's pretty nice. The tarp on this one. This one's really unique. Um, I was giving a couple of ratty pictures and um, pretty much uh, sort of pretty open-minded customer to let me just do my thing here so that was, was pretty awesome just general direction from the couple photographs and a little bit of input and away we went just checking along the way like I always do to make sure that uh, I wasn't going too wild off the plan but I think uh, well obviously the chassis is the same as what I normally use the lift and everything but the body is completely different than anything else I've built shape of the tub and everything. The real real trailer actually had uh, like a quarter round shape here but it's really hard for me to bend that especially how small it was so we went with a 45 degree angle and then I made little filler panels for on here and then welded them on. Um, yeah and then of course the fenders hide hide that on the back two posts so it worked out pretty good. There's a big big apron on this one too. I'm guessing maybe the real trailer was doing asphalt. I would think but the size apron it had. The real one had a high lift tailgate but we decided to go away from that. And it also had the, I'm not sure what those tarps are called, but slide back with the accordion sort of looking thing. But Ty's the only guy that's got one of those after doing that. I'm pretty much rather jump off the roof of the house head first. But <laughs> It looked really cool, but so much work and to get it operating properly is a struggle. So I don't know if I'll do another one of those. These ones, however, I think I've got sort of figured out. So yeah, it's turned out nice. I hid the gear motor on this one. It was, a, it was an old school trailer. Everything was pretty much exposed on the real deal. So with some pulleys and stuff like that and a chain drive, it looked like. So we went with this. It doesn't look exactly exact 100% like the real deal but it turned out pretty good I think considering it's not in a house or anything like that it's just exposed looks good it went with a little bit of a tail light panel there pretty simple like it, the trailer was complicated to build because there's a lot of different angles and stuff but as far as the actual way the real trailer was set up I think it's pretty simple it's from the 70s or 80s so nothing super fancy well that's pretty much what we did with this one but anyway the uh, tarp works pretty good not that it shouldn't this is on 12 volts so it's a bit bit quicker than it'll be when it's uh, running 7.2 but it's just easier for me there to run it on higher voltage there when I'm testing everything it doesn't take quite as long to dump or whatever so anyway there she is hope you like it Alan this one's going to Hawaii so that's pretty cool yeah super happy with how it turned out it's really good Thanks for watching.